so here we are at Newcastle Airport. It is about five o'clock in the morning. Somewhere. Yeah, it's five a.m. Um, it is horrendous. It's <laughs> just wet and drizzly and freezing cold. And um, but one good thing is the roads were completely clear, and we got here in like record time. So um, yeah, this is the day starts the long journey to Vegas, um, which we're extremely excited about. It's only been five, four months since the last one. Three, I think. November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, no, four. Well, no, we came back 28th of November. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, sorry. This is me with my counting of my dates again. I know, but it's five o'clock in the morning. I've only had like four hours sleep. But she drove us here fine, <laughs> so, you know, no excuse for basic baths failed. Anyway. anyway, so we are looking forward to a lot better weather than it is here today. And um, so we've got our flight from Newcastle with BA to Heathrow and then we're going the rest of the way with Virgin. So we will update you as we go and we're hoping that Newcastle Airport isn't as creepy as it was last time. Um, but it, the nice free security line would be lovely yeah, though. Be nice <laughs> okay, catch up soon. So we're in our first airport lounge of the day, which is in Newcastle International Airport. It's the Aspire Lounge. It's small, but it's... Um, Decent. Um, we've just demolished some uh, bacon sausage sandwiches. It's about six o'clock now. Uh, the flight is departing soon. And um, I just thought while I was here, I might as well have a cheeky little wine. So, cheers, everyone. So this is a quick room tour of the Mirage Hotel room. Um, it's a queen. Uh, it's the first time we've stayed in the Mirage, so we didn't know what to expect. It's actually a really bright, um, big room. So um, I'm at the door now. I'll start with the bathroom. It is quite a small bathroom, and everybody kind of told us that that's what uh, the Mirage have. But actually, it's really nice. I, I don't really need a big bathroom, to be honest. There's a nice big mirror there. Um, there's just the one sink towels toilet what more do you need and a bath and an overhead shower rather than a separate shower but i don't really have a problem with that so i'm fine with that nice and clean and looks fairly um nicely decorated then into the room got a big mirror full-size mirror on the wall here and then coming in just to ignore our bags. Um, we've got obviously the two queen beds. We quite like to spread out. Uh, so we got the, the two queens when it was offered. Uh, just we actually thought it would probably give us a bigger room as well if we were asked for queens rather than one king. Um, on the right here are all the kind of bench space, cupboard space, drawer space. 
this I'm guessing is the the mini fridge that everybody says do not touch I'm scared now that I've probably cost us money just by opening it um there's loads of drawer space here it's not obviously particularly new it's not kind of fancy or anything but it's actually it's quite nice it's decent massive television here and uh, kind of a desk with a couple of chairs over here a lamp and then we are um, on the the south of the hotel so although the view down below isn't great we've actually got a view of um, Caesars and onto the strip along here so obviously you can't really see at the minute because it's quite light but you can see Flamingo and Paris and Cosmo and uh, just a nice strip so obviously that'll look nicer on a night when it's all lit up so for a first uh, impression of a Mirage room I'm actually really quite impressed it's nice and big light airy uh, comfortable if not kind of modern and snazzy um, and yeah I'm sure it'll do the trick for the next nine nights We've actually just arrived not long ago. We got here, we got to our room, and actually we didn't like our room. Um, we called up and they changed us. Uh, I'll, we'll explain more later. But anyway, we're in a room now that we like, and um, we just decided to come straight down because uh, we've been up that long that if we even sit still, we can't guarantee we won't fall straight asleep. So we thought we'd come straight back down. It's around about five o'clock. Uh, Vegas time, but obviously it's the middle of the night back in the UK and we've not had any sleep So um, we are in the California pizza kitchen. We've never been here before uh, But already loving it just the fact that it's like right in the middle of the casino and um, The um, atmosphere is amazing. Obviously, it's Friday afternoon or into night time I'll just pan around kind of thing behind us So it's a great way just to kind of start soaking in the atmosphere before we even get started. We've not looked at a slot yet, other than we walk past the infamous parrots. And um, we've already decided, well, we've been debating whether it should be the first machine or not, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, we're just going to enjoy our pizza. We are so pleased to be back again and um, really happy to be staying at the Mirage for the first time. Okay, so pizzas have arrived and mine looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's mushroom, pepperoni and spicy sausage. Michael went for something called The Works, um, which is a bit of everything really, meat-wise. And um, I'm just absolutely loving the view. And I'm loving the buzz of being right in the middle of it while we're eating and back in Vegas. So we've got the sports book here, the bar, sports bar over here, and then obviously the casino floor right there. I'm properly, properly happy to be back, as you can probably tell. So after much debate, uh, it just had to be, didn't it? There was no debate. <laughs> I remember no debate. No, there was Dragon Link or, or Parrots. They, that was the debate. Yeah, there needs to be two people, at least, to debate. Right. You were having a debate with yourself. I was. I wasn't involved at all. Well, anyway, first hundred of the holiday is going into the Parrots. It had to be. And it's not coming out again. <laughs> I'll be amazed if I see it again. Bye bye, hundred. Oh, it doesn't want to take it, look. That's fine with me. Go on, take it. There. First hundred gone. Bye bye. <laughs> right, we're mean business. Let's go five centi nom. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Right, how much are we betting? Well, that's 250. Right, we're doing 250 bets. 
Let's do 250 bets and let's see how long this lasts. Oh, I'm going to record the first spin of the holiday. Can you imagine if the parrots had come up, man? How exciting that would have been. Right. We'll be back if them... I, I feel like I'm stuck in a recurring nightmare. <laughs> I feel like I've just, I've just settled back into a recurring nightmare after, after three months away from it. And then three months just not happened at all. You just, well, just straight back in. to question everything. <laughs> right, come on then. The, oh, the drinks are ordered and I've gone for an apple martini, so... Apple martini? Yeah, whatever. Right, bye. Okay, so it might not be the parrots, but look what's happened. Fourth spin in. A nice full reel down on the last one. And I won $125. Fourth spin in. See, it might be our turn with the parrots. The parrots are going to punish you for the smugness. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Fourth spin in, and I'm already like double my money. Michael says we should maybe just pull it out now and then that's it. That's what Louis, <laughs> Louis would do. Yeah. Louis, Louis the room Louis said, do, just yeah. once you win and pull it out, that's it. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm happy it's out and I've got my little apple martini, so we'll give this a go now, actually, see what it's like. Looks strong. Whoa. Yeah, that's big. That's a big measure. Michael's on the Corona. Cheers, Michael. Cheers. To our first win, ball spinning. Could be our last one soon. <laughs> Come on, parrots. Well, parrots. <laughs> first night, parrots. Look at the parrots. <laughs> it's like we've never been away. This is the machine, we've got the parrots on in November as well. Which has already made like over a hundred on this. I know, I'm so excited. Come on you parrots, come on. It's very hard to get all of this in, so bear with me. It's not going phenomenally well, it must be said. Just getting huffy again with the, the <laughs> like parrots. Look at her, just proper huffy. Because it's gotta come good for us. Come on, that's better. Oh, one of them hits. Well, we win all of these anyway. It would just be nicer if it, like, I think it multiplies. Multiplier. Full times, I think. Times eight. Times eight. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh. So that was the last three game. How much is all of this then? Oh, this is when I need to get my calculator out. <laughs> Just whatever it is, times five. Hundred and fifty, yeah. <laughs> I knew the parrots was out. I knew it. I just knew it. I could feel it. She said this pretty much every every time last <laughs> holiday too, by the way. I know when first night I got them. And last time we only won like thirty-seven dollars on it. So yeah, so we're about what? 
250 up. More than that. More than that. <laughs> well, we'll see if it gets any better than this. So a very uh, successful start to the holiday in the Mirage. We've played a couple of games um, and we are going to head out onto the strip just so we can get back out there. We've not actually been out there since we got here. Um, we're really actually loving the Mirage, never stayed here before, obviously we've visited plenty of times, see shows and gamble and for drinks and food, but never really stayed here and just kind of soaked it up as much as we wanted to and already first night, we're just really, really enjoying it. So um, let's go out onto the strip for the first time. You can't see this, but I have the biggest smile on my face right now. <laughs> ah, it's good to be home. So we're guessing from the big crowds here, the volcano show is just about to happen. So we're going to stay and watch it. I haven't seen it in a little while, actually. And obviously it's not going to be here for much longer. So we've got to make the most of it while we can. Oh, just look at this place. This is eye candy if ever there was such a thing. So we've just popped along to Harrah's and um, I'm not showing you this machine as in we've won anything because we're not winning at all. What I am showing you is these pina coladas. Oh, now I thought the Paris pina coladas were good, but I'm telling you now, nothing has, Paris has got nothing on Harrah's. These are the best pina coladas we've had in a casino. Highly recommended. Let's hope they bring us some luck. Come on, ninjas. We've been chasing some kind of good luck all night. And, uh, I think we must be about 200 down at this point for the night. Haven't been chasing the hold and spin, but not managed to get one at all. But the piggies are being kind to us at the minute. I think we've been up and round about. 27, possibly 28 hours. So it's starting to lag a little bit. So. Minor would be nice here. 